bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free beautiful people and welcome back to you live everything in wonder let's start uh, this beautiful day here in lucky land uh, we have a lot of things to do once a week uh, my task is uh, to clean uh, these ashes this will go directly into our compost into our garden We need some wood so a few days ago we we went to cut a dangerous tree old and that tree it was almost falling on the road This was a huge tree. What is that? Now we are going to collect the wood with our old vintage tractor. You ready? So there was this tree dangerously falling down, so we decided to, to cut it and now we need to load our little Pasquale tractor <laughs> so we can uh, bring uh, some wood back home for our fireplace. It, it was dead uh, since years, so it's dangerous when a, a dead tree is standing up for many years because it would eventually fall down but there is a trail here where uh, everybody walks uh, so what's is, dangerous yeah the trail here and the road here over there and the road so okay let's do this Once. 
chestnut tree. Mission accomplished. The tractor is full of firewood. Now we are going back to Lucky Land because we have a lot to do and we also need to fix the dishwasher because it's broken. We'll try to start it by hand. Okay, let's see. So this is a different technique? Yes, this is the old style. Okay, technique. without cables and electricity? Yeah. One of the things we love in this house is this huge dishwasher but yesterday it stopped working it's in a emergency mode it's telling us that there is a leaking I will be taking it apart to see what's the problem and see if I will be able to fix it This is the current situation to disconnect uh, all the pipes. The dishwasher went in emergency mode because this sensor is uh, what uh, makes uh, the dishwasher feel if there is some water down here. So now I need to check where the leaking is coming from because it was full of water. Okay, we connect the power, we connect the water coming in, the dirty water going out. The sensor I was talking about is this one. And uh, as you can see, down here there was the water and it floats, goes up. And this was the noise of the pump uh, pumping out the water. I checked all the pipes uh, and uh, none of them uh, are broken, uh, are damaged. Uh, so I cannot see where the leaking is coming from. I just started uh, a 30 minute program. You will spend 30 minutes like this? <laughs> are you comfortable? <laughs> Want a pillow? Okay. It's moving. Yeah, it's the moment of the truth. Oh, we saw the Lego. Ah, si. Papa. Papa, sta dando un botto. Qua è dalla porta. Sì. Lui va anche qua. Oh my goodness. Quite interesting to see how a dishwasher works or not. Or leaks. Let's hope, fingers crossed, to find the cause of these leakings. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. <laughs> Happy face! We had to take apart every little piece of our dishwasher but we also had to remove the gaskets that seals 
the door because yeah, the bottom, and the the bottom because we were getting water coming out from here uh, we found a broken piece now we will order and uh, hopefully we Ooh. will get it Ooh. yeah it's just a little piece that goes here and then uh, when uh, the dishwasher was working it was uh, throwing the water in a weird way that yeah, was causing uh, this one is spinning yes and it and it only throws the water from these little holes uh, and right now with this broken uh, it was pushing all the water against the door this part and was leaking from there so now we will fix it the kitchen is a mess right now but uh, at least i'm happy because um, i figured it out what it is uh, we will not need to buy a new dishwasher so we are happy campers. In every video we make, we try to teach you three different Italian words. We receive a lot of comments of people saying that they would love to come to explore Italy one day and to speak our language. Yes, and I really believe that you should at least learn the basics, a few words or something to, to speak in the language of the country you're visiting because I think it's part of the experience. So we would like to introduce you the sponsor of today's video, Rosetta Stone, which is a learning language software. Learning a new language is not easy, but Rosetta Stone offers you all the tools to help you reach your goals and speak with confidence in your new language. You can choose between different languages. Thanks to the speech recognition software, you will speak in your new language from lesson one. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Il bambino mangia. Il bambino mangia. Il bambino mangia. And you can learn anytime, anywhere, on desktop, mobile and tablet. Probably in the beginning you won't be able to speak or you will forget words, but this is totally normal. But the fact of just being able to understand what locals are telling you or asking you, it's very, very useful. Being able to communicate, to say something or to understand will make you more confident during your travels. So if you click the link in our description box below, you can get great discount on all the monthly subscription. But that's not it. With our special offer, you can get unlimited access to the app for only 179 US dollar just till the end of March. So be quick. You can learn as many languages as you want and once you buy Rosetta Stone, you will have it for life. Thanks again to Rosetta Stone for keep supporting our content and our creativity. This is what allows us to offer free contents to watch that are not free to produce. So thanks again. Now we'll have dinner and then we'll go to sleep because tomorrow we are going... We will leave Lucky Land. We are going... Surprise. Surprise. Stay with us, guys. Have Let's a good go. night. Let's go. Well, I don't mind to slow down anymore. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. I don't mind selling out or playing cover songs. Just as long as friends and family sing along And I don't need more money or faster car, now. Nah. Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar, now. Nah. You ready? Yes, we are leaving Lucky Land. We are going to Carpignano Sesia. That is uh, the town where my grandfather, Nonno Gian, was born. We are going to help Daddy Claudio in this uh, countryside house where my nonno Gian was born to bring all the things that uh, he had in the house in Torino which uh, my father and his sister had to sell after nonno Gian passed away. So let's go. And here we are, we are finishing dinner. Daddy Claudio bought... Hello everybody! 
bought some delicious uh, pastry. Mm. Wow. It's doing... These are anchovies yeah. uh, with uh, green uh, sauce. Bagnetto verde. Mm, bagnetto verde. It's parsley together with... Parsley. Garlic. Extra virgin olive oil, some vinegar, some bread. Yes, and uh, peperoncino, red pepper. Ooh. Chili pepper. Chili pepper. Chili pepper. But we are all waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> we are waiting Daddy Claudio to finish the yeah, bagnetto just... verde stuff to eat the pastries. And... He asked us. He asked us. You know, now we have four types of different fruits. And he said apples, pears, oranges, banana. and bananas. And I said, mm, and Luca said, oh, I will go with the banana. And then, surprise! surprise. And there are only, we are only the three of us, but as you can see, the one that we like more, there are six. So we <laughs> so can guess, guess why. We will enjoy these delicious pastries and uh, a glass of wine. Daddy Claudio, yeah. glass of wine. Daddy Claudio routine. Ritual. Ching, cheers. <laughs> Salute. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. Oh, wait, now we need to show them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Daddy Claudio yeah, first. Right, Daddy Claudio. Uno, due, tre. Huh? Magia. Uno, due. Magia. Mm. Make it disappear. With fresh cream. One, two, three, magic. One, two, three. <laughs>everybody's already working inside outside we are moving stuff from outside to inside good morning good morning we need to show them the houses yes they are really the really really old and beautiful yes there is a river here called uh, Fiumesesia and uh, all these round stones uh, comes from the river and it's full of full full so they used to build the houses uh, using the stones of the river See, it's beautiful Era per l'olio o per il vino papi This was a press you put uh, all the grapes. the grapes in here you turn this around uh, you can do it by hand or they you, you, they use uh, like uh, donkeys or horses uh, and uh, it will press uh, all the grapes uh, and the wine uh, would come out from and here. And it's working right now? Uh, we never use it. I think it's there <laughs> since uh, ages. We have the barbecue and the oven uh, to cook the pizza. Pizza wow. oven. Very nice. Okay, Daddy Claudio Daddy is Claudio. relaxing the siesta before lunch, his, right? His position. His, pos his favorite. For position. <laughs> For position. While Daddy Claudio is resting, we are going to have a tour of the historical center of this village. Medieval. Yeah. Okay, this is the key of the secret uh, place uh, look at this key where your nonno used to come and make wine wow these are super super old uh, tools uh, old wine bottles they built it uh, a botte we call here. This is a botte. So you see the shape of the botte. But oh. now we mm -hmm. will go upstairs because it's amazing. All the people of this little medieval village used to go up there, use it as a theater. 
cool. You can notice on the floor the same stones, the same rocks from the river here. You see, people collected the stones to build walls. Flooring. Flooring. It's really special and unique. The use of natural material, something that it's really, it's not fake. Beautiful here and this one. Here as well. Enter the theater. The theater. They used to put uh, here some candles. This mm -hmm. is before electricity exists, uh, before like the world uh, that we know today exists. <laughs> the modern world. Yes, so they had light over there and here. They used to paint uh, the background, uh, so if uh, the scene of the theater was into the woods, uh, they would paint uh, trees or whatever. And here was the stage? Yes, the For stage the was here. Beautiful. We can redo a theater one day, this would be one of my dreams. I have written some screenplays, theater screenplays, so maybe one day we can organize a show. Here. Yes, and when my grandfather, Nono Jan, rebuilt the roof, yeah. he made it just the way they used to do it in those times. So all in wood, in the old way. Beautiful. It's like going back in time in one sec. You enter a door and you are in a different era. They used to put torches here with the fire. That, that was the, the lights uh, that today we have in the streets. They were all like this. You can see it uh, on uh, that wall over there. These are places in Italy that nobody knows. They are kind of ghost towns, few people living there, but they are magical, they are beautiful. It's incredible. Wow. This edifice was built in the 15th century. Here, as you can see, they are still building with the same stones of the river, the Fiume Sesia. It's beautiful. Quanto ci mette a fare un pezzettino? Quanto tempo ci vuole per fare un pezzettino? Un'oretta. Un'oretta? It's really, really time consuming. You have to put stone by stone. One hour just to make a little piece with all the pebbles from the river. Great. Beautiful. Buon lavoro. Buon lavoro. Grazie, grazie. Ciao. Okay, this is a, a cream ice cream and I'm going to make a affogato that means a drown in Italian with coffee, black coffee on the cream ice cream. And mm -hmm. it's delicious. Delicious and nutritious. And you need to be fast, right? Otherwise what will happen? Will melt. So fresh gelato to end our meal. Every day is a celebration here. Mm. When you come to visit, it's always a, a celebration. celebration. Yeah, a holiday. And here we are back in our room. Luca treated the wooden flooring with an oil. A special oil just for this wood. Many, many years ago, has been a flood in, um, in Torino. The river Po flooded uh, the area, surrounding area, and uh, this shop uh, was affected by all this water that damaged many furniture. We were selling all this furniture for half a price or even less, uh, trying to save the business because uh, as soon they get wet, uh, they need to be uh, put in somewhere that is 
nice and dry. So Sarah bought one of those uh, furniture, a big, a huge closet that we will be installing here. We will try to put it here, but uh, the doors uh, are super big and super heavy. We don't know if we will manage just the two of us uh, with the weight uh, to bring it in here. We don't know if it fits. Okay, let's do this. Let's try at least. She threw out her back. Let's do one. Okay. Okay, throw it in. Let's go. Let's try it. So she's in pain. She will stay at bed for two or three days. Poor Sarita. Poor Sarita. It was not the way. We were supposed to start this day. I hope that this pain will disappear soon. So in the meantime, I will deal with this part of the of the house, the upstairs entrance. So I managed to put the flooring till here. Now I will need to finish the flooring on all this floor. Let's get into it. Done. I just finished. As you can see, it's dark already outside. But it's done. We need to finish the wall over there. All these little details down here. But the flooring is done. I'm exhausted. Luca has done an amazing job on the floor. I was able to go and have a look slowly, slowly. <laughs> Upstairs uh, and yeah. Sarah has done an amazing job uh, staying at bed, <laughs> working on the computer, trying yeah. to, to get rest. ahead uh, with a lot of work. Uh, yeah, it was really, it is really painful, but I hope that in one week, few days, I will be able to run and dance again, like Recovering. always. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, please share to us smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel. The Italian words for today's video are Armadio, pesante, dolore. Wardrobe, heavy, pain. We love you beautiful people, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us. We will see you next week and remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao! Ciao. And here we are. <laughs> Sara, she threw this washing machine that this dishwasher has. And we also need to fit. We arrived in Carpignano Cesar. We arrived in Carpignano One eternity later. Safety, future. And uh, with future. washing machine, dishwasher. Ah, yeah. There is. I don't mind the slow down anymore I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor Anymore, anymore